uh, next speaker that I will welcome is known for most of you as he has been uh, minister. Francesco Profumo is professor of electrical machines and drives at Politecnico di Torino, where he has also been rector. He also adjunct professor at University of Bologna. He has been visiting professor at universities of Wisconsin, Nagasaki, Czech Technical and Cordoba. He served as president of National Research Council in July 2011, and he was Italian Minister of Education, University and Research in November 2011. Professor Profumo is the chairman of Bruno Kessler Foundation, the chairman of Fondazione Compagnie di San Paolo, the chairman of Turin Campus, ESCP, the chairman of SAFM. He has published more than 250 papers as in, at international conferences and in technical journals. And he has received many prizes, awards, and honorary degrees. He has served as chairman and board member for a number of important companies, including Iran Group, Unicredit Private Bank, Il Sole, uh, 24 hours, <laughs> FIDIA, Telecom and Pirelli. He is member of Academia Europe, Re European Physics and Engineering section and a member of the Academia delle Science. Mr. Minister, please. First of all, thank you for the invitation and for the great conference. I was really impressed by the first three talks. And um, it's, it's really very difficult to compete with the previous one. Um, you know, today we, we had a just a, a great overview of what was already is in place and what we could have in the next few years. Uh, I know that we are late, and what I try to do is to give you an overview of what a research center could do in the vision of uh, artificial intelligence. Just a few words about the um, Fondazione Bruno Kessler is uh, located in uh, Trento. And it was uh, set up in uh, 1962 with uh, a visionary, visionary uh, long plan of uh, Bruno Kessler, that he was at that time uh, the president of the province. And it was uh, set as uh, uh, Instituto Trentino di Cultura. In the same year, or almost in the same year, he, he, did, he founded also the University of Trento. But what happened in the year, in the middle of the 80s, 80, 86, 87, he called in Trento uh, one manager from an important Italian company. The name of this guy was uh, Stringa. And the Stringa had uh, this possibility to attract in Trento at that time the most interesting and uh, uh, expert researchers in, in, in uh, artificial intelligence. As you know, uh, the artificial intelligence in the last uh, 40 years uh, moved from what we call uh, summer to autumn to winter and to spring. And uh, uh, one of the big problem was uh, that the hardware in order to, to compute was not really adapt to what we expect from uh, artificial intelligence. Just uh, maybe we can go to the first uh, slide, please, go on. Oh, I think I, think I can go. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Um, the, the, the center 
is today uh, with uh, around 500 researchers, and uh, we have uh, seven institutes on that. The one of the particularity is that we have uh, three institutes that are in uh, the humanities and four in technical and technological and science. And the idea uh, that we had was uh, to start uh, a, one strategic plan where artificial intelligence uh, could be uh, interpreted in a, a holistic way, in the sense to merge the technical part and uh, the social part. This is what is not really easy, but uh, this is what we try to do. And, uh, then uh, what we decided to do was a long, long-term strategic plan, 10 years. The reason is uh, that uh, maybe you know that uh, since uh, uh, the year 2021, uh, we will start uh, the nine framework program of European Commission. And uh, this is a really a revolutionary uh, work program. And most of the uh, attractive things inside this program could be a part of uh, the strategic plan of uh, uh, the uh, Fondazione Bruno Kessler. Uh, where, where we start? St we started from this point. Uh, today we have uh, three, as you can see, uh, three uh, institute that we call uh, in the innovation and cult in the social and cultural innovation. Uh, where the, the, the three centers, the three institutes, uh, what they do. One uh, is uh, in the ethic theme, ethic uh, uh, research, mainly uh, is uh, what we call Instituto for uh, Religious Study. The second one is related to memory, and the name is uh, uh, Institute for Historical Relation between uh, Italy and Germany. And the, and the last one uh, is uh, uh, a quite interesting institute that is for the evaluation of uh, the public policy. In the other side, completely separate, also in the location, we have uh, three uh, institutes. One uh, is related to the sensor, produce a sensor. The second one is related to uh, mobile and communication network. And the third one is related to platform. Then uh, try to put in together this expertise that we have. And the quality of the, our researchers is very good. Just to give you an idea, uh, the capability in terms of acquiring project in Europe uh, is uh, in terms of uh, success rate, almost double in, in comparison to the average uh, in, it, in, in Europe. Then uh, is the idea is uh, to really work from this side point of view. And uh, it, then uh, in the scientific poll, because uh, we have uh, these this two different location, one location is uh, for the scientific part, we, what we do, we do research on devices, on sensor, on fog computing, this means cloud mainly, uh, network and IoT, data science, cybersecurity, and cognitive computing. As I said, uh, the long history of the institution is uh, uh, quite uh, an important aspect for us. <clears throat> for in, the, in the other uh, center, in the other Paul, that is for the humanities more, what we have, uh, we have uh, values, memories, and uh, evaluations. Then uh, the, the, the idea was uh, to start uh, from uh, uh, what we can, uh, we can say the, the global sustainable, sustainable goals by UN. You remember, we have a 17. And uh, looking from this point, we try to group uh, these 17 goals in four different uh, fields. And starting from that, uh, we tried to identify how these goals can uh, be used for four major activities of the citizen. 
First of all, the relation with the jobs. The second is the relation with the, the territory where the citizens live. The third one is the health. And the last one is the environment. And uh, at the, the center of this uh, new vision, we have the people. People, they have to really face with this problem. And the vision is, uh, first uh, to start from this global sustainable development goals. Then uh, the second is uh, to set up uh, these uh, four uh, strategic objectives. And the, the, the third one is uh, to be tight aligned with uh, the uh, program, the, the framework program, uh, the, what we call Horizon Europe, Euro, uh, Horizon Europe. This is because, you know, we have uh, two years in advance, we have uh, two years, and uh, we can train our researchers from this point of view. Then the, 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 the vision is to put together all these uh, different goals, all these uh, different missions. Missions in which sense? Maybe some of you are familiar that uh, in the nine framework, uh, we, we, the, the structure is uh, starting from big missions. Missions uh, means a very large project where we have a really intersectoral activities. This is a, seems quite uh, only the paper, but uh, the complexity of the world today is pushing us in this direction. Then uh, looking from this point of view is uh, like a, a model of how we can proceed in the sense that uh, we have uh, this four big field, as we said, uh, the territory, jobs, health and environment, and we have uh, missions. We have uh, one mission that uh, is related to the, to the first one, the second one is related to the jobs, the third one health, and the last one is uh, uh, the environment. But then, uh, because uh, this mission could be, could be realized, we needed to have a project for the missions. And for example, for the territory, what we have uh, smart communities, we have uh, digital finance, and we have uh, this inclusive society. This means that uh, we try to ident identify a project that could be uh, very close to the citizen, very close to the, the demand of the citizen, but in the meantime, uh, where we have a uh, strong expertise uh, inside the research center. Uh, for, for the jobs, what, what we identify is uh, Industry 4.0. You know that uh, it's one uh, of the major uh, activity of development right now. The second one is uh, connectivity for cars. And the third one is space. And uh, in the case of health, we have uh, the well-being and uh, the personalized uh, medicine. And the, la the last one, uh, is uh, renewable energies. This means uh, that uh, we have uh, this artificial intelligence that uh, is something that uh, is moving from one side to the other one. Just to give you a, a one, uh, one point that, that I think is very important, in 1987 in Trento was set up uh, one quite well-known uh, platform, the name was Maya, and it was, uh, was one of the first platform uh, for the artificial intelligence. Then uh, what we try to do is really to create a, an, an, a quite interesting environment with excellent researchers that they can work together, start since the beginning, with this uh, intersectoral activities. And uh, as you can see uh, in the center of this picture, we have uh, the expertise that we can put uh, on this table. First of all, we have uh, cognitive computing, then we have devices, sensors, networks and IoT, values, data science, memory, cybersecurity, cybersecurity, cloud computing, and evaluation. And 
maybe you understand that it was not easy because uh, in the beginning we had uh, the seven centers that they, they were working in excellent way but uh, completely separate and we feel that uh, more and more we needed to have uh, this uh, interaction uh, this is only not only for the researchers because uh, we we have uh, more than 100 PhD students this means that uh, we are working in order to educate a new generation of uh, researchers that are, are able since the beginning to interact one with the other and uh, are able just uh, to build up a new way to treat uh, complex system through what we call uh, these missions. Then uh, the, the idea was uh, to have uh, the artificial intelligence as the glue of this new uh, possibility to interact between uh, completely different cultures that we have uh, inside the, the, the center. And uh, the, the missions are in the sense that uh, we are going to, op to work more and more in the direction that is pushed by the, the European Commission. This means open science and open innovation. And uh, starting from this, we have uh, the, the fourth major objective of the strategic plan. Just to give you an idea, just an, uh, only an idea, for the, uh, for the health, the artificial intelligence is uh, related to the focus. This means uh, to develop and, uh, and uh, to, to have experimentation of methodology and technology for the personalized medicine and for the prevention. And the vision is that uh, at the center of this process, the person has uh, to be in the middle. And uh, the values are uh, the personal data store that uh, has been developed already, a joint open labs with the companies and uh, institutions, and uh, a, a, one attention to the values and the different uh, uh, religious and the cultural background of the people. You understand that uh, what we try to do is to put, it, uh, put it together in one sense the technological aspects and the other one uh, is to put together also the personal aspect, the humanities. Then uh, this is uh, the idea that we have and uh, if, you go, if you go through the, the uh, strategic plan, we identify that uh, in each project uh, we try to go to uh, this new vision. What, why uh, this is uh, the, the way to really go on uh, with, this, with the project? Because uh, we, we, we understood that uh, to keep separate excellent researchers in the different fields uh, maybe is not uh, anymore the way to really give an answer to the continuous demand to have uh, activities uh, in a complex uh, world that is becoming more and more complex. In the other way, for uh, the next uh, uh, European framework, uh, we will have a more and more uh, call related to this mission and uh, as you know Italy is in uh, great difficulties because uh, uh, Italy is getting back only 60% of the investment in Europe and uh, we, we feel that uh, in the next uh, two years uh, we can really train uh, ourselves but also the institution uh, that uh, are working with us in order to be prepared uh, with, a, with a new, for the new calls uh, starting since uh, um, uh, 2021. Then uh, just uh, I want to conclude in order to save some uh, time and uh, to recuperate some of the delay that we have. 
that uh, the foundation is uh, um, uh, is uh, in in the in the direction or really uh, try to build up a new uh, guideline uh, for some of the institution. You know that uh, in Europe uh, at this time uh, there are grouping uh, people, for example, in intelligence, in artificial intelligence, and more and more this holistic approach is, is becoming one of the main driver to go in the direction of the new framework. Thank you so much. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Ministre. Thank you so much. And I'm sure we are sharing some values and I would be very happy to talk to you later about this subject.